Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are here at Whitewater and the water is so beautiful, crystal clear and clean. We're at the Whitewater Preserve just off the 10 freeway, just outside of Palm Springs. And this is a nature preserve up in the mountains. I guess it's in Whitewater, California, just a little bit uh, east of Cabazon and the Morongo Casino. This is where the water is leaving that pool. It's so pretty up that rock. That's so pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> decides to go in. I'm not here every day. I'm going for a swim. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's probably it's probably 55, 60 degrees. Cold. I would guess. It just feels cold because it's what? It's like about 87 degrees today here? Yeah. I'll be the statue, the natural preserve statue. Are you strawberry preserves or grape preserves? Strawberry. Apricot. All right, let's go up here. This is the little jacuzzi area. Bring your own heater. There's the road right there. Yep. All this water. Just out of the coming out of those mountains up there. Oh, look at that little cove over there, surrounded by the trees where they're sitting in there in the shade. Oh yeah, cute. The lodge and the ranger station. That's beautiful. How all of the grow over it over there. Yeah, look at all this water. Yeah. It's cool how they made pools of it. Yeah. So where does all this water originate from? Come over here to this map and I'll show you. Awesome. Oh, look at this. This is Mount San Borgonio. Okay. I speak in Southern California. These are the San Bernardino Mountains. Where are you guys from? I'm Temecula area, okay. so not too far away. So you're that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and further down. So this is our big mountain. It's 11,500 feet tall. And it's the snow on that mountain that creates the water. And there's still water even when there's no snow because up canyon, up in the mountains, the water table's above the bottom of the stream. Oh, I see. So the natural spring is just coming out of the ground. Mm -hmm. It's a natural water level, yeah. Wow. So we're up this... Yes. Gorge someplace yes. right there. See? Whitewater Preserve right there. Oh, it's right there. And this little white line that's broken is the Pacific Crest Trail. That goes from Mexico to Canada. Very cool. Yeah. A couple more heavy rains of the sandstone washing those off. Look at that one right on the edge. Because look, it'll come right down to this road. There were signs along the road saying falling rock. One for me? Sure. There we go, you can go in. It's cold, huh? Is it cold? It's not cold to you, that water's cold. <laughs> Hikers, please sign in. Oh, yeah. Yep, if you're heading out of here. They want you to sign in so they know to look for you. Where to send the helicopter for you. It's cold. 
Even that shallow pool is cold. Okay, do you see these cars that they're making circle? Lisa's gonna explain what's going on. The parking lot is full, so when people get up here, if there's nowhere for them to park, they have to send them back down, and then if they see someone leaving, they can try to come back up. Well, we had to do that as well, and we just got lucky and came back up at the right time that somebody was leaving, but if some of these people are here having picnics or on long walks, it could be a while before anybody leaves again, so plan to come early if you're gonna come here so you can get a parking spot. Because it's at least four and a half miles up this road from yeah. the freeway and there isn't really anywhere to park alongside the road the whole way up here and they don't want you to. And you can't get out of your car if you do. So, so once you get up here, if there's no parking, they send you back around and we got lucky and we got in. Yes. So that's a little bit more water coming out of there than where we were at. That's the 10 freeway at Whitewater. That way is Palm Springs. Sorry if the wind is so much noise on the camera. But we just came down out of Whitewater Preserve and this water is the California Aqueduct joining with that, yeah. heading into the Coachella Valley and it can't get out over that mountain, sorry about the sun, that is Mount San Jacinto. So all this water flows down into Coachella Valley and fills up their um, underground aquifers and that's why Palm Springs can't exist. Yep. Is they pump the water out of the wells for the city of Palm Springs, Palm Desert, and Indio can survive out there. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Take a moment to visit Whitewater, California. Yes. Between Cabazon and Palm Springs on the 10 Freeway.